Titan, Saturn's largest moon, has experienced a cloudy season. Saturn's moon Titan is an enigmatic place, resembling Earth in some ways, but with a thick, hazy atmosphere dotted with methane clouds and rivers and seas filled with liquid methane and other hydrocarbons instead of water. According to a NASA press release, the James Webb Space Telescope observed two of these clouds on November 4th, exciting scientists. In their words, fantastic. I enjoy the cloud's blatant albedo markings. In an email included in the statement, Heidi Hamill, a planetary scientist at the Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy and the project lead for the solar system work being done by the James Webb Space Telescope, discussed the contrast between the bright and dark regions of Titan's surface. Astronomer Connor Nixon of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland scheduled 15 hours of JWST's first year to be dedicated to studying Titan. Nixon's group had a few specific goals in mind for their investigation of Titan's atmosphere, mapping the haze's distribution and discovering any new gases that might exist. The data JWST sent the scientists was met with elation. At first glance, it is simply extraordinary, Sebastian Rodriguez, an astronomer at the Université Paris-Cité and a co-author on the study, wrote in an email that was included in the release. We may be looking at a cloud, I believe. Upon further examination of the data, the team discovered two clouds, the more intriguing of which was located over Kraken Mare, the largest of Titan's seas. Researchers quickly became interested in keeping tabs on the clouds over time to learn more about their evolution. After contacting JWST, the team contacted the Keck Observatory in Hawaii, which obtained Titan observations just two days after JWST. According to the statement, M.K. DePater, an astronomer for the University of California, Berkeley, who oversees Keck's observations of Titan, was concerned that the clouds would be gone when they looked at Titan two days later with Keck. We were pleasantly surprised to see that the clouds were in the same place, but appeared to have morphed. However, this does not guarantee that Keck and JWST observed the same clouds. As the northern hemisphere of Titan is currently in late summer and catching more solar radiation, scientists anticipated high cloud activity. Therefore, Keck's clouds may be newly formed. And scientists still have more data to sift through from those observations. Images captured by the JWST Near Infrared Camera, NERCAM, a powerful camera capable of imaging a target in multiple wavelengths of light, were used to identify the clouds. This enabled scientists to distinguish Titan's lower atmosphere from the rest of the planet. However, the team has not yet completed analyzing all of the data collected by NERCAM, and a second instrument was also in use. Spectra were collected with the observatory's near-infrared spectrograph, NERSPEC. Light reflected from an object, such as Titan's atmosphere, can be analyzed by splitting it into component wavelengths using this method. The spectra will aid in the mapping of the compounds present in the lunar low atmosphere, including the mysterious bright spot over the South Pole. The statement adds that in May or June of 2023, JWST will turn its keen eye back to Titan, this time using its mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, to better understand the chemicals in Titan's enigmatic, hazy atmosphere. Now, when spacecraft aren't regularly visiting Titan is a crucial time for observations. Cassini, a NASA spacecraft, arrived at Saturn in 2004 and made more than 100 flybys of the Moon before it crashed in 2017. In addition, NASA is planning a new mission called Dragonfly, which will send a drone into the murky skies above Titan to provide researchers with a unique opportunity to examine the Moon from a variety of angles. Titan is the largest moon in our solar system, but why does it pique human curiosity? Titan, Saturn's largest moon, has a thick golden haze that completely obscures the planet's icy surface. Titan, the second largest moon in our solar system, has an impressive size. In fact, only Ganymede, one of Jupiter's moons, is bigger. Titan dwarfs Mercury in size compared to Earth's moon. This massive moon has the densest atmosphere of any moon in the solar system and is the only planet other than Earth with rivers, lakes, and seas. Titan has an atmosphere similar to Earth's, with mostly nitrogen and a trace of methane. It is the only other planet in the solar system with a water cycle similar to Earth's, in which liquids fall from clouds flow across the surface, collect in lakes and oceans, and then evaporate back into the sky. Titan may also harbor an ocean of water just beneath its icy surface. There are over 150 moons in our solar system, but Titan is the only one with a substantial atmosphere. 
Titan's surface experiences atmospheric pressure roughly equivalent to that experienced by a person swimming 50 feet below the surface of the ocean on Earth, or an increase in atmospheric pressure of about 60%. Titan's gravity doesn't exert as much pull on its gaseous envelope as Earth's does, so the atmosphere extends nearly 370 miles 600 kilometers, higher than Earth's. While it's much colder and has a different chemistry than Earth, Titan's surface is one of the most Earth-like places in the solar system. Since the temperature is so low, negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 179 Celsius, water can be used in place of rock. Titan may also have volcanic activity, though its lava would consist of liquid water rather than molten rock. Methane and ethane seep to the surface of Titan, where they carve out valleys and fill lakes with liquid natural gas. Other than Earth, no planet in the solar system has liquid activity on its surface. Dark sand dunes cover a large portion of Titan's surface, especially near the planet's equator. Some have speculated that the dark hydrocarbon grains making up the sand in these dunes resemble coffee grounds. These tall, straight dunes remind one of those in the Africa desert of Namibia. Titan's lack of easily discernible impact craters suggests that the moon's surface is relatively young and that a variety of processes have worked together to erase evidence of past impacts. Similar processes can be seen on Earth, where craters are gradually filled in by wind, water, and the recycling of the crust through plate tectonics. In adapted forms, these forces can also be found on Titan. In particular, tectonic forces appear to be at work on the frigid moon, with the ground apparently moving in response to pressures from below, though scientists have yet to find any evidence of plates analogous to those on Earth. Titan has an atmosphere composed mostly of nitrogen, around 95%, and methane, around 5%, with trace amounts of other carbon-rich compounds. Molecular methane and nitrogen are disassembled by the sun's ultraviolet light and by high-energy particles accelerated in Saturn's magnetic field high in Titan's atmosphere. The fragments of these molecules recombine to form a wide range of organic chemicals, including nitrogen, oxygen, and other essential Earth elements. Titan's hidden ocean of liquid water was discovered by the Cassini spacecraft's numerous gravity measurements, like mixed with salts and ammonia. Additionally, in 2005, the European Space Agency's Hudgens probe measured radio signals on its approach to the surface that strongly suggested the presence of an ocean 35 to 50 miles 55 to 80 kilometers below the icy ground. Having found a global ocean of liquid water, Titan joins a select group of planets in our solar system that may support life. Titan's surface may also be habitable due to the presence of rivers, lakes, and seas comprised of liquid methane and ethane, though any life there would be vastly different from earthly life. As a result, Titan might have environments with conditions favorable to life, including both Earth-like life in its subsurface ocean and alien life in the hydrocarbon liquid on the surface. Titan's complex chemistry and unique environments are sure to make it a destination for continued exploration, despite the lack of evidence for life there. I'm curious as to your thoughts on Titan. Is there a fair chance that life exists on such a huge moon? Yes? Now, what do you imagine their reactions to us will be? Thank you again for watching this video until the end. Leave us a like and subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss out on the latest news about the James Webb Space Telescope. See you in our next episode.